Hello. I have told you that I was born and raised in an atheistic country, in an atheistic family. I wasn't indoctrinated in religion and I never knew God. But I see on YouTube that for many people God is a reality. He exists. Who better to explain to me how we can detect God than philosophers who are proclaimed to be brilliant, excellent and very famous. William Lane Craig is one of them. He has also in the past enjoined us to use rigorous thinking and logic. I like that. I intend to use rigorous thinking and logic in this video and I invite you to do the same. The minute the news broke that the God particle had been discovered, I got on Skype with Dr. Craig from his office and we discussed it. Let's go right to that conversation. Helpfully, after the groundbreaking discovery of the Higgs boson, Dr. Craig makes a speech in which, in a jubilant tone, he talks about a theoretically postulated something that has been detected and proved to exist. Dr. Craig himself deals with theory which postulates the existence of God. But the resemblance doesn't stop here. Well, it's one of those wonderful instances in science where a prediction made purely on the basis of theoretical physics receives an empirical confirmation. And that is always very exciting when that happens. It shows that the language of nature is the language of mathematics, that the world is endowed with this orderly rational structure, so that theoretical scientists making predictions can actually tell us about the universe, and lo and behold, the experimentalists go out and find out that it is actually just as the theory predicted. And that's what happened in the case of this particle. I will tell you beforehand the gist of Dr. Craig's speech. He finds a strong analogy between the history of the Higgs boson and God in three ways. One, the Higgs boson underlies the existence of all particles in the universe in the same way as God is the ground for the existence of the universe, intelligent beings, people, and moral values. This particle underlies every physical object that exists. It is what gives every physical particle and every physical object the, the mass that it possesses. So it's like God in the sense that it underlies the physical existence of every object in the universe. Two, just as the Higgs boson was hidden for such a long time, 30, 40 years, it was not detectable by the five senses, but finally it was discovered. In the same way, atheists say about God that he is hidden, the hiddenness of God. In the same way, God is hidden. He cannot be detected by the five senses. So, you find the logical ending of this sentence. Like God, the particle has been very difficult to detect. It's not detectable by the five senses. It has been exasperatingly, frustratingly difficult to find. And that also uh, speaks to us, I think, of the hiddenness of God. And three, only thanks to great amount of time, money and effort, the Higgs boson was discovered. In the same way, if we dedicate a great amount of time, money and effort, you find the logical ending of this sentence. Well, it has taken enormous amount of time, money and effort in order to finally confirm the existence of this final particle in the menagerie of particles that make up the standard model in particle physics. Use rigorous thinking and logic. It's like God in the sense that it underlies the physical existence of every object in the universe. In Christian theology, God similarly conserves the universe in being. Secondly, like God, the particle has been very difficult to detect. It's not detectable by the five senses. It has been exasperatingly, frustratingly difficult to find. 
And that also uh, speaks to us, I think, of the hiddenness of God. In discussions on the problem of evil, for example, it is very often a matter of discussion why God seems so hidden, why he seems so absent in times of suffering. We would expect perhaps his existence to be more manifest for him to make himself clear to us, and, and yet he doesn't. And so I really like this nickname, the God particle, because it highlights two very important features theologically of God, namely God's underlying the existence of the entire universe. He conserves it in being. He didn't simply bring it into being initially, but he sustains it in being. And without his upholding power, the universe would be annihilated in an instant. And then secondly, it also informs us that even though God's existence may be hidden, that is no evidence that he doesn't exist. The Higgs boson has been there all this time, even though we haven't been able to detect it. And so this is a wonderful illustration that the absence of evidence isn't evidence of absence. God is a reality that objectively exists, even if sometimes he's frustratingly hidden. Bye.